plus ages. Today we are going to begin the first chapter, chapter number eight, which is called as more on internets. More on internets, right? What we have done in the previous chapter was networks. Okay. Now, what are the frequently used terminologies in this chapter? Before browsing is a very simple task. Even the toddlers, tiny kids, they start browsing. It's not a big, uh, big deal. What I want you to know is the terminologies which are being used when you are browsing. You should be familiar with the terms. For instance, if I want to know what is URL, or if you want to know what is a client servant, server client. Okay, if you want to know what is a website or web page or web browser, now these are all the terminologies we are going to learn before we could really learn what is a web server, right? Should I? Yeah. I am beginning a fresh chapter called as what? More on internet. Today I am going to introduce few terms. The first one is called as client. The next one is called as server. Third one is called as web page. Fourth one is called as web site. Then web portal followed by web browser then url then email followed by email address let me tell you what are they how many terms? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 terms we are going to learn. Are we going to, how many terms we are going to learn today? 9 terms. Okay, 9 technologies you should be familiar. I am sure most of you will be using it. But you should know exactly what are they. Right? What is a server client technology? One who makes a request, any computer on the network that requires the services from the computer on the network. For example, you type facebook.com, google.com, google.co.in, right, twitter.com. The moment you type in the web browser, you have a, what do you call? Firefox or you may have a Google Chrome or you may have a Safari or you may have a USB. Variety of web browsers are there. Variety of web browsers are there. What you need to do? What you need to do? Very simple. The moment you type, but your computer should not be a standalone, it should be on the network. It should be on the network. For example, internet. It's a WAN, wide area network. Across the world, all the computers are connected. If your computer is connected, it's called as WAN. You are one of the users in that huge network, WAN, in the previous chapter we saw, wide area network. The moment you type, what happens is, whatever may be the request of the client, that particular request comes from the server, one who receives. For example, if I type google.com, amazon.co.in or amazon.com, amazon.com means it goes to USA. The moment your computer, your client computer is connected to server, whatever you type, that particular file comes to your laptop or desktop or app, pumped up whatever you get. Right. So client means any computer
computer on the network that requires the services from another computer on the internet is known as client. What do you mean by server? One who serves. Right? Any computer that receives the request from the client computers and processes the and sends the output. For example, web servers. Web servers will respond to web related queries. That can be other types of servers to handle different types of operations. What do you mean by that? The moment you say facebook.com, there is a document you say, there is a file you say in the server, that file will come from server to client. One who is asking facebook.com is I am the client. Where does it come from? The file will be transferred from the server to client. One who serves web related services. Web related services are known as server. Right. Now what do you mean by that? Web page. A website means multiple pages will be there. Website will have a multiple sites will be there. Okay. What is a web page? One of the pages. One of the pages is known as any digital document or any digital page that is posted on the internet is known as web page. Right? You understand what I say? A web site means multiple pages will be there. A web page means a single document. Right? Any document which is there available from the server in a digital form that will be transferred from the server to be the user called as client. It's called as web page. Any digital document or a page hosted on the internet is called as web page. What do you mean by website? Fourth one. We have seen what is client, we have seen what is server, we have seen what is a web page. Now we are going to see what is a web site. A website is a collection of interconnected pages designed with certain goal in mind. For example, all of you must have visited our school website since AWS Pakyam.com or Jisoy. When you go there, what happens is that is called as a web site. That's called as a web site. That website it talks about the photo gallery, it talks about the prospectors, it's all, it talks about the introduction of our school, it talks about the, what do you call, what are all the, uh, plenty of menus will be there, right? All the documents, digital documents are interconnected and they are available under one name called as zavispokyam.org. That's called as a web site. The collection of interconnected web pages designed with certain goal which is there in mind. Anything about our school related information you will find in our website. If you want to know what is the email ID of our principal, what is the email ID of our hostel superintendent, right? What is its contact number? How do we approach that? Contact us, you will have one page, right? Who? Click on that, we will talk about the preview of our school. Contact us the family. If you click on that, what happens is, straight away, whom you are supposed to contact, what are the ways and means of contacting. You can contact your phone, you can contact your mail, right? So, uh, what are the contact details? All, all the web pages have been interconnected and they are available in web site. <coughs> Some authors, they say even web portal is also called as a website. Some they say portal, some they say site. Right? A website or the service that offers a broad array of resources such as a email, forum, right? Search engines, among other, uh, yahoo.com, google.com. What do you mean by that? You go there, Related services are known as <coughs> are known as web portal. 
What all things you will, if you go to our site, you will find that contact our details. That is, you will have a search engine. What do you mean by search engine? You will find a blank and go is in there. Whatever you wanted in that particular website, you type it and search for it. You have a web crawler. Okay, you have a search engine which will search whatever the user wanted from that website and it gives you. Right? So you should have a what do you call? Search engine you should have. You should have email services. You should have a forum. What do you mean by forum? Anything if you wanted to contact, you should be able to meet the concerned people. It's called as forum. Like-minded people. If you offer all these services, they are called as web portal. I repeat again, what do you mean web portal? Yes. For example, Sony.com if you go. Sony.com, they have a variety of product. You have one of the Sony products, right? And you wanted to get it, some information. What happens is, people are available in Sony, round the clock. Whatever may be your query, then and there they will give you instantly. So because Sony is a big, very big company, they have established their own web portal. Okay, at any 24 by 7, just you make a query, immediately, instantly they chat. Live chat can be there. Or you launch a complaint, okay, or you raise a complaint, then they follow up. Right? Where you will have a search engine, where you will have a forum, where you will have an email ID, I mean email services, or then all of them connected together. Besides the websites, if you have these four or five qualities, what the first quality is? Email services. What the second quality is? Forum. Okay. What the third quality is? You should have a search engine. If you have all such type of services in your website, it's known as web portal. It's called as web portal. What do you mean by this web browser? Web browser is an application, it's an app, it's a software. Internet Explorer. Right? Internet Explorer. Or Google Chrome. Or Firefox. Right? Mozilla. Or USB. Or Safari. If you go in your uh, iPhone, iWatch, iPad, okay? Or MacBook, if you go there, they have a they have a browser called the Safari. If you go normal desktop, where you find a Google Chrome, or you will find whenever you install the Windows, part of Windows is called as IE Internet Explorer. The first web browser which was invented is called as Netscape. Navigator, communicator today. The first and foremost web browser means you type facebook.com, you type in address bar, right? It's an app that lets you to browse various websites. You can visit variety of websites in a web browser. Web browser is nothing but your application which allows you to browse through multi areas websites. For example, you go to web browser and type some various .org. What does it do? It brings the website to you. Right? That is called this. If you are using in your phone, in your phone you may have a Chrome or you may have a uh, what do you call? Safari or in your iPad or in your laptop or in your desktop. Variety of web browsers are available. Web browser, a programmer software on a client computer that retrieves the information from the web. For example, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Netscape Navigator, or Netscape Communicator, a Mosaic, a Safari, Linux, etc. Variety of variety of web browsers are available these days in the market. The Chinese one is called as USB, right? Like a squirrel, orange in color, right? 
So a variety of approaches are there. You can use any one of them with what you are familiar with. Right? But the first and foremost web browser was Netscape Communicator or Netscape Atlas was renamed as Netscape Navigator. So this is what the web browser is. Now, I am going to talk about the URL. What is this URL? Uniform Resource Locator or Universal Resource Locator. Let me see. Uniform Resource Locator is a unique address of a web page on the internet. For our convenience, we write Amazon.co.in, Amazon Facebook.com. Right? Or whatever you want it, we do it. But fact of the matter is, every website has got a series of numbers. Series of numbers. These numbers for us is very, very difficult to remember. It's very, very difficult for us to remember. Okay? What happens is, your website, your web browser goes and locates that. It's available across the globe. Universally, it's available. Or it is available uniformly in any part of the world where you are living in. You type facebook.com here, you go to what do you call San Francisco and type this facebook.com there from your device, you can see. It's a uniform or universal resource. The resources are available. You locate them and bring to your device. So it's called as URL, uniform resource located. It is a unique address of a web page on your internet. In other words, it's, for us it's very very difficult to remember. See, it says series of set of numbers is very difficult for us to remember. But we are able to remember the names. Sensevespakyam.org we can remember. Like today.com we can remember. But every website has got a unique set of numbers. That's why it's called as universal resource located. Resources which are available that can be Located. U R L L. The next one is called as what? Email. Email is what is form of electronic mail, which refers messages distributed by electronic mails from one computer user to another, to another computer or another plenty of computers you can send mostly on the internet. Well, I tell you what is an email is. What happens is, ten, ten of us are there in a group, right? I wanted to communicate. What you can do is, so instead of typing individually, I type one message. Each user has got an email ID. Type the first phone, whatever may be your priority, type the first person. Then CC, copy, carbon copy we call. CC stands for what? But how many of them you are going to, you are writing a mail, you are going to send 10 of your friends and relatives. What you do is, type the first person address. CC is shortest form of carbon copy or BCC is the shortest form of blind carbon copy. In short, you write, type the matter, type the content of your mail. Type all the 10 addresses, first address there in the two. Second to ninth address, the second to tenth address, you write it in a BCC. That's what I do. Then, after typing the letter, you have an icon called a set. Click on that. If your email ID is correct, all the the mail which you have typed will go to all the ten users. Right? If they are online, instantly they see that. Like you are WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a medium, right? Similarly, so email. Email has become very very efficient these days. What happens is email is sort of form electronic mail. You Uber may be there on the in your contact list. Whatever the communication you want to send across. Type the content of the email to how many of you are going to send? If it is one, write it only one. If you are sending five, first persist two, then rest of the four you write it in CC or if it is more than Certain number you write in BCC. CC is what is for Bob? Carbon copy. 
this is in status for of blind carbon copy. In one go, you can send same mail to multiple number of persons. Okay, this is what the email is. Yes. What is the email address? Every individual should have an email ID. How many have the email ID? Right? SXX principal at gmail.com. SXX principal. Right? SXX is a ID at the rate of gmail.com, creditmail.com, hotmail.com. Right? What do you mean by that? Or if you write, so these are all the services. The person name at the rate of which server are you using? If you are using Gmail, Gmail server you are using. If you are using Reddit, you are using Reddit. Okay. What happens is that just a few, few minutes ago I did talk about the portal. Right? Portal means what happens is if you are a big organization, they will give you an ID to you. Right? A success principal at principal at the rate of SXS.com means SXS is what is form of CJB school. So that we have our own email server, we can send and receive it. There's a meaning of it. There's a meaning of it. What I'm trying to tell you is every email receiver and sender should have their own email. You need email ID. How the email ID will be there? Name of the person at the rate of okay, service provider dot in dot AU dot in means India. If it is AU means Australia. If it is dot US means USA. Okay, some they give you the geographical location. Some they write simply com. It's up to you. What I am trying to tell you is each individual will have that unique email ID. Email ID will have a name of the person at the rate of this is compulsory followed by the service provider who gives the email service okay dot call or edu or in or au or bhutan ph like this plenty of names can be there okay there are how many terms did we are familiar with three six nine terms I told you email address Email, URL, web browser, web portal, website, web page, server, and client. Look at page number 170 of chapter 8, boys and girls. Yeah, very, very self explanatory, very simple, kindly practice. We shall meet you in the next class. Bye bye. Take care.